Assessing organizational capacity. Organizational capacity is a critical component of project implementation. You must be able to demonstrate that your tribe or nonprofit organization and any staff involved have the capacity to successfully carry out the project. There are two types of capacity that will be needed to implement a project. The first one is administrative. You want to make sure that you have the staff on your project that have experience supervising other staff people. So you have somebody in charge making sure that people are on a point and making sure they're completing the activities that are assigned to them. The next one is programmatic reporting, and that is ANA's specific reporting that is done. So that is um, somebody who is very familiar with doing federal reporting that is web-based and that they have a track record of completing the reporting on time. The third is financial, which is you know very important that you have financial staff or that you maybe outsource to somebody who has financial experience dealing with federal grants. So these not only do you need to cover the day-to-day -day finances, but also someone who is very familiar with doing the quarterly financial reporting and the drawdowns. The last one is managing third parties. So you want to make sure that the staff on board know how to manage consultants or um, partners that you bring in on board for your project. The next one is project specific staff. So this is the part that is going to be actually implementing your project. So these are your, your your fluent um, teachers, your linguists, your, your work staff development trainers, um, your youth workers, whatever is specific to your project. So you have to demonstrate that the people that are going to be implementing your project are experienced and qualified to run that part of your project. In addition, it also is key that have people that have experience with data collection and implementing your evaluation plan. So this is um, something that will need to be built into job descriptions and um, it'll be in your work plan as part of your staff to complete this. And you need that have that um, qualifications for those people that are responsible for completing it. The third one is working with the third party. So um, you need staff that are familiar with working with consultants and partnerships and able to um, get the work plan completed. So during the planning phases of your project, it's important to work with administration and finance staff from the start. So now was the time during your planning to collect key things to demonstrate your organizational capacity. And these are the resources to start gathering. To demonstrate that you have leadership and oversight of staff, you're going to collect the resumes of key administrative staff, or if you're going to be hiring for those positions, that you include a job description for that demonstrates that the person will need to have certain qualifications and background and credentials. To demonstrate programmatic and financial oversight, a key thing that you can include in your application is the cover letter of a recent clean audit. So you don't have to include the entire audit, you know, that'll you really eat up your page allowance, but if you just include the cover letter for a clean audit that um, states that you've, um, you've had a, a, a clean audit, you can include it in your application. So start gathering those. Uh, to demonstrate you have experience meeting federal reporting requirements, you can include like a brief narrative on the recent grant histories that you've completed successfully. So um, that our same size and scope as the one that you're proposing. The To demonstrate the ability to manage and oversee third-party agreements, you don't, you can refer to your procurement policies of your organization. You don't have to include the entire policy, but you can pull out key parts that demonstrate that you have experience and you have plans and policies in place that should ensure um, clean um, oversight of any consultants or partners. And to demonstrate that you have the ability to implement the project, you're going to include the resumes of the key staff that's involved in the project part of your project. And if you're going to be hiring through the grant, um, you're going to include the job descriptions that have been vetted through your organization. 